Venus. It's so bright. Really bright. Not only is it bright, it's really hot. The hottest planet in the solar system. The air in its atmosphere traps the heat. Wonder how Chester's doing. <laughs> oh, I'm sure he's keeping busy. Looky, looky, looky. Yeah, Nash, that's where we live, Earth. It's so beautiful. My personal favorite. Me too. Me three. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See you soon, Earth. We're coming up on Mars, the fourth planet from the sun. Oh, it's really red. But what's that white stuff? Those are polar ice caps, just like Earth. <laughs> hey, Chester. Oh, hi. Where are you guys now? We're just passing Jupiter. It's so big, it's hard to miss. It's the largest planet in the solar system. Did you know that Jupiter is 1,300 times bigger than Earth? Yeah, huge. And it's mostly gas, right? And it has lots of storms, too. There's one that's been going on for over 300 years. Whoa, that's a long time for bad weather. So, Chester, we're making really good time. We'll be there soon. Okay, see you in a bit. <sighs> Look, Nash, Saturn. Wings, pretty wings. Yeah, it has rings. Cool, aren't they? They're made of millions of ice crystals. Some of them are really teeny tiny, no bigger than a speck of dust. And some of them are enormous, big as a house. I'm dancing like nobody's watching, cause nobody's watching. Woohoo! Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Bip, la, bop, la, boo, ooh, ooh. Passing planet number seven, Uranus. Rings, rings! Hey, it's got rings too. It's such a weird one. It spins on its side. Not too much farther to Pluto now. Chester must be ready for us to get there. Uh-huh. Yay, Neptune, the last planet in the solar system. Let's see what these things can do. I can fix this. Oh. Uh. Whoa. Huh? Ah! Uh, uh, whoa. I think these chairs need a huh? giant snowball. A giant snowball? Giant snowball headed straight for us. Uh. Hang on, Polos. Whoa, what was that? It was huge. Let's find out. Whoa. We're gaining on it! Woohoo! You know, I think that giant snowball is a comet. Comets are just big balls of ice and dust and rock until they get near the sun. Look! It's changing! Is it melting? It looks like the heat of the sun is setting it on fire. Because the sun's energy heats the comet's ice and gases. It's growing a long tail. Whoa! Whoa! It's the rocks and ice from the comet's tail. Ah! Willow, what do I do? Ah! You've got this, Lily. Remember the button I told you not to touch? Well, punch it.
they doesn't have wings like a bird. They have flaps of skin under their arms that they use like a parachute. Oh, so they don't really fly. They glide, like a person on a hang glider. Cool! Wow. Scientists think they do it to escape danger and to save the energy they would use climbing around. I don't think it likes the light. I'll turn this off. Listen. It's an owl. I really want to see an owl. Then let's head this way. Wow. I think it's a great horned owl. They're great hunters. They prey on rabbits, squirrels, and even skunks. Those are big animals for a bird that size. Is that a great horned owl too? That must be the female. It's higher. So you can tell the males from the females just by listening. Look out! Ah! Look, a different one. Cool face. Ooh, ooh. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting that. I'll say, I think this one is a barn owl. And it... <laughs> Doesn't hoot like most owls do. It shrieks. You know, I was a teeny bit nervous about being in the dark. You were? You know I was. <laughs> oh, it's okay, Willow. <laughs> but it turned out to be wonderful. Listen, you can hear the animals that are out at night. It's like a song. A night song. Have you noticed the night has a rhythm And a melody all of its own And the music that goes along with them It's the sparkle of stars in the moonlit sky Goes on and on and on Night song, night song Grab a shoe What is this stuff? This stuff, Gorby, is mucus. What's mucus? This stuff, Gorby, the same green stuff that comes out of your nose. Whale boogers? Ew. Uh-oh. Whales don't need to surface for long to breathe. They shut their blowhole and then dive back underwater. Inside, everybody. <laughs> Whales are humongous! <gasps> Whale song! Wow! It's so loud! That's so the whale can be heard by other whales from far away. <sighs> I really hope it'll sing with us. Let's find out! Hello! We are the Polos! And we'd be honored if we could record you singing with us. You and your baby, how cute.
escape Vocal tricks make a melody It sounds just like a song to me The song could be a warning or a friendly hello High like a turbo Way down low It's a language only whales can speak Sounds like a song to me Though I think all that bumping did some damage. Audrey, what's our status? Hopscotch, mountain top, shindig valley. Yep, definitely some damage. But it's nothing I can't fix. Okay, which tools am I gonna need? A screwdriver? A wrench? Or oh, whatever this thing is. Thanks, guys, but I got this. Beach time polos, you play, I'll stay. Yay! <laughs> you say so. Uh, okay. Goes there. Willow's a great engineer, but what if she can't fix the polo boat? <gasps> we'll all be stuck here forever! 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 Stay calm, Chester. Get your mind on. Something else? <laughs> I got it! Ooh, a beach ball! I love beach balls! <laughs> this engine is totally seized. It needs a top to bottom rebuild. I found some spare parts below deck. I was saving these to build a dancing robot, but I can do that next week. Ready, Gorby? I got it! I got it! I, I don't got it. <laughs> Yay! Wow! Ah! Oh, the wind's really starting to blow. Ah, the ball! Ah. All that clanking tells me you don't think any of these will make the engine work again. <sighs> nope, we need something else to get the polo boat moving. the wind would stop. I don't. I'm having an engineering moment. Wow, a sail made out of palm leaves. That's brilliant, Willow. Thanks. Seeing the wind push those leaves around gave me the idea that a whole bunch of leaves could catch a whole bunch of wind to push our boat. The wind will press on the sail and make it puff out. This force will push the pull of boat forward and I'll use these levers to steer. Then it's Bye Bye Island. There's an insect pushing a ball of poop. It looks like a kind of beetle. What would such a little thing want with such a big ball of poop? You don't think it's gonna eat it? Ew! Ew. Uh, let's look it up. It's a dung beetle. Dung? What's that? Dung is another word for poop. And yes, it's going to eat it. Yuck! Why? It says here that whenever an animal eats something, not all of it gets digested. Some tiny undigested bits end up in its dung. And that's what dung beetles eat? Yes, they also get water from the dung. Okay. This time, I'm going to say it. Yuck! Where's it going? Yeah, if they're going to eat dung, why not eat it right here? Yeah, there's plenty! They bury it so they can eat it later? And they lay their eggs in the dung balls. It looks like it's working really hard. That ball is huge in comparison to the beetle. 
dung beetles are the strongest insect. It can move about over a thousand times its weight. That's like you pulling a school bus, Nash. Wow. But that's not all. Dung beetles help the environment of the savannah by burying and eating tons of dung produced by other animals. You mean they help to keep this place clean? Yes. Plus, flies lay eggs and dung. So by eating and burying so much of it, the dung beetles stop the fly eggs from hatching. So, fewer flies. That's amazing. Actually, dung beetles are amazing. Dung beetle, dung beetle, dung beetle, dung beetle, dung beetle, dung beetle. They've got a dirty job that someone's gotta do. They're small but mighty and they're tidy too. We're lucky there's a bug that's willing to lug around so much poop. They go to work every single day with a tumbling dance that looks like play. But if you had to do a job with poop, would you? Rolling. 